open up. You open. So, this is the way to do a proper um, consultation. And I also want to show you guys like the setup for mobile um, lash technicians out there. Um, just the type of things you need. I am wearing my back brace. You should have one of these, whether you in a salon or mobile. Keep your posture good, you know. Um, this is Kalia, my lovely client for today. Hi. So I just want to do a quick little run through of how a proper um, professional consultation should go um, before you even lash your client. This is going to be a consultation and consent signing for um, your first time with your client. How are you? I'm good. good. How about you? I'm good. I'm excited about these lashes. You are? <laughs> yes, you're about to be glamorous, honey. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so before we get started, I do um, have a few questions I need to ask you. Okay. And then um, I'll have a few things that I need you to sign, then we'll go ahead and get started, okay? Okay. Alright, so just to be sure, see I have your name and today's date. Um, how did you hear about us? Um, I see you on YouTube. On YouTube. You some videos. Yeah, you actually popped Make up. Make sure you subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you saw me on YouTube. Yeah, Perfect. I was um looking up my eyelashes because I've been wanting them for a while. But then I seen your videos pop up, so I saw it was a book in like a website, so I just clicked it. And was able to get into contact with you. Well, I'm glad you came across me. I'm glad we got to link today. <laughs> yes, me too. <laughs> now, um, have you ever had eyelash extensions before? Uh, yes, I you have. have. Yes. All right, perfect. And then why did you decide to remove them? Um, well, I had went, I moved out of town and I had a really bad experience with a girl who was like, she ripped all of my eyelashes out. I'm not sure what she used, like a really extra, extra strength glue. And it kind of scarred me, and I wasn't nowhere near where my normal lash tech is back in Atlanta. So I just took a break, just started wearing strips and mascara. Um, okay, mm -hmm. so you did um, have a bad experience with them. Okay. Yeah, I had a really bad experience. So are you a little shaky about trying it no, again? No, I trust your work. Yeah, <laughs> I've seen you, your thank work. You, thank you, thank you. Okay, good, good, no, good. Um, now, the eyelash extensions require medical tape and adhesives that may contain acrylic or latex. Are you allergic to either of those? No, ma'am. No? Okay, awesome. All right, do you have any known allergies? No, not that Seasonal I know. allergies or anything? No. No, okay. All right, um, do you have any frequent eye irritation, itching, watering your eyes? No. Okay. No. All right, now, um, have you had any eye surgery in or around your eyes within the last six months? No. No? Okay. All right. Do you wear contact lenses? No. No? Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, I do want to know if any of these may apply to you. Um, eating disorders or poor nutrition, chemotherapy, allergies, hypersensitivity, hormonal imbalance, um, recent childbirth within the last 120 days, extreme stress, dry eyes, thyroid disease, eye infection, or condition. Um, I've been stressed out a little bit. That's the only thing I can say. I don't know how extreme it is, but... Okay. I've had a little stress lately, just, right. you know, working and stuff. All right, so I, we do like to let people know um, if there is any type of stress, especially if it's extreme stress, mm -hmm. um, your lashes may tend to shed. You know how you lose hair oh. from stressing? The eyelash hair is just the same as okay. hair that grows on your head, so you may be prone to more shedding okay. than average. Okay. And with that, you'll probably need fill-ins a lot sooner okay. than, you know, what we actually require. So oh, that would be the only uh, thing I that I would definitely that. want you to know ahead of time. Okay. In case it is on the extreme side. Yeah, but we'll I don't see think it's extreme, but... <laughs> we'll see how it goes. We'll see how your growth cycle and everything is. So we definitely recommend fill-ins every two to three weeks anyway. Okay. So if you're falling in between there, then I wouldn't say it's anything excessive. So. Okay. Perfect. All right. Now, um, the following drugs may cause premature lash loss, which leads to dissatisfaction of your lash service. So I do need to know if you're taking any of the following drugs, um, cholesterol lowering drugs, Parkinson's medication, ulcer drugs, anticoagulants, um, antiarthritics, um, drugs derived from vitamin A, um, epilepsy medicine, antidepressants, beta blockers for HBP, or blood thinners? None. None? Be okay, perfect. Now, do you have any questions or concerns regarding your lash appointment? Um, no. I don't, um, only thing I would say is, um, 
as far as taking care of it mm -hmm. and the treat like how should I treat it you know once you leave should I clean it how should I clean it or mm -hmm. is there any maintenance that I'll have to do on my end there is so that's the next part I'm definitely gonna go through all of okay. that with you and I'm actually gonna leave you with the aftercare um, card too oh, so that okay. way if you get big enough to get with this conversation you'll still have it okay. so that way you can take care of your lashes now um before we go to the next part I do like to go ahead and get you set up for your appointment okay. um, for your filling Alright, so today is the 9th, so on about the 23rd, I know that's around Christmas, but um, oh, the yeah. 23rd is when you'll be due for your two-week um, fill-in, so I'll go ahead and book you for that today. Okay. Um, If anything changes or if we need to change it or anything, just contact me okay. and we can update it that way. Perfect. But I definitely want you to have your slot so that way, okay. you know, you're yeah. not waiting and then end up not being able to get Yeah, your I don't want to miss out yeah. on my okay. appointment. Alright, so all right. now this is actually um, just information about the procedure. Um, normally I would have you read it, but I like to make sure everything is explained thoroughly. So I'm okay. going to go ahead and read everything throughout. Once I'm done, then you can go ahead and initial by all these points you're saying that you understand okay. everything that I did go over with you today. Perfect. Okay. And then we'll have you sign the data too, okay? Okay. All right. Now, um... This is basically stating that you agree to have eyelash extensions applied to your natural eyelashes and are removed and retouched. By signing this agreement, you consent to the placement and removal of the eyelash extensions by the certified eyelash extension specialist, which is me. Okay. <laughs> um, you understand that there are risks associated with eyelash extensions um, being applied to or removed from your natural eyelashes. You further understand that as a part of this procedure, eye irritation, eye itching, and in rare cases, an eye infection can occur. You understand that if you experience any of these conditions with your lashes, you will contact me as your professional um, lash technician and have the extensions removed immediately at no cost to you. Okay. Um, and then I would then consult you to go see a physician at your own expense. Okay. Um, you do understand that even though I am a certified eyelash extension professional and I'm going to be applying or removing your eyelashes using the proper technique, instruments, tapes, cleansers, iPads, adhesives, and removers um, that I was taught to use, mm -hmm. they may irritate your eyes or require a physician's follow-up care, okay? Okay. Now, um, you understand and agree to the aftercare instructions that by pro that will be provided by me as your eyelash extension professional. Um, you realize and accept the consequences of failure to adhere to these instructions as it may cause the eyelash extensions to fall out prematurely, cause natural lash damage, and or decrease the time that the lashes will last will last. Um, these aftercare directions include do not use mascara, okay. do not use sunscreens, oil-based products or oil-based removers around the eyes, okay. keep your lashes dry for the recommended 12 to 24 hours, no picking, pulling, or rubbing oh. your extensions, <laughs> do not curl or trim your lashes, and keep your lashes clean and dry and brushed. Okay. So that you will have to do daily after the 12 to uh, 24 hour okay. curating time mm -hmm. from there you need to brush them every day okay. and clean them every day okay. okay now does when you brush it does it make it shed though you will notice some shedding shedding is natural okay. um we never know which cycle mm -hmm. your lashes are in so some of them may be due to shedding okay. now if you're losing um 50 or more of your lashes mm -hmm. then at that point there would be a, a you know, okay. adhering problems, something went wrong mm -hmm. that we would have to look into. But shedding is normal, so you probably will lose a few from okay. brushing them every day. That's, but that's nothing normal. too excessive. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, and then here is where we actually go over my um price line, my price okay. and guidelines. Um, a full set for me starts at one hundred and fifty dollars, and that's okay. with the classic and up. Um, fills should be performed again every two to three weeks, depending on the last cycle. Um, so after fill for the first two to three weeks. That fill-in is only $50. Um, if you go three weeks in a day and four weeks, any time between there, then you're up to $75. Now, if you go four weeks in a day and anything past that, at that point, I'm doing just as much as I would for a full set, so you'll be back at the full set price. So I always recommend you come in between the two to three week mark. Okay. Just three avoid. weeks is good enough for me. Yeah, yep, yep. Yeah. So yeah, and the, it should definitely last you mm -hmm. that long, the retention 
with the products I use, you'll be good. Um, lash removals are complimentary. I don't charge for those. Um, so <laughs> anytime you need to have them taken off, just let me know. We can go ahead and get you scheduled to get those oh, removed. Oh, wow. Okay? So you don't charge to take them off? No, nope, I don't charge to wow. take them off. Wow. <laughs> I've never heard that before. <laughs> nope. Now, um, this agreement will remain in effect for this procedure and all future procedures conducted by me as your eyelash extension professional. And you understand that this agreement is legal and binding and that you are over the age of 18 years of age and you consent to this agreement and treatment. All right. And then this last little part here just lets you know that you release me as your technician, Brielle J, from all liability associated with this procedure, which is performed with the utmost attention to safety and proper application using tools and products that I have been properly trained to use. Um, there's no guarantee for the bonding time of the eyelash extensions. You do understand that there are many factors that may affect the life of the eyelash extension, such as water, moisture contact, weather conditions, and activities involving exposure to high temperatures. Okay. So once you sign this, you do verify that you have read and understood the above statements, and you agree to them. Yes, I do. All right, perfect. So I'm, if I could just have you initial by all the stars, and then sign and date at the bottom. Okay, perfect. So while she's doing that, I just wanted to you know, touch bases with you guys. That's how you just do a quick little run through um, for a consultation with your client to get them prepped and set for their treatment or procedure for today. Real super easy. I know a lot of times it could seem like it may be intimidating. You just need to relax, be confident. You are the professional. You need to know these things. Avoid future issues and then, that may pre that, present itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if they do. If you it's have not a yeah, but have what was it? Dot your eyes across your teeth. Cross your teeth. <laughs> Yes, dot right. those eyes and cross those teeth. And it's that simple. So, again, this um, stays on file. I recommend that you still touch bases with your client at the beginning of every um, procedure. No, you don't have to go through the full consultation and consent, but just ask them, you know, how did everything go? Did you have any type of irritation? You just want to be able to notate it. So, keep this on file and update their information as they go, so they may get pregnant, they may develop an allergy, anything mm. like that. You want to have it noted so that way you can always advise them on how to, you know, what to expect and how to take care of their lashes and if they should continue to use eyelash extensions as their lash enhancer um, option. I think that was great. <laughs> that was great. All right, awesome. So, again, I'm still going to get you the aftercare instructions, but now okay. I'm going to go ahead and get you prepped. So, the next video is going to show me prepping her eyes for the procedure.